angle one and two a linear pair. Yes, they do make up a line. Are angles four and five a linear pair? Are angles four and five a linear pair? Do angle four and five make up a line? No, they do not. What would make up a line with angle four? Five. Angle five plus angle four plus angle three. If I had all three of these angles, then it would be a straight line. Are angle three and angle one a vertical angle? No, remember that. The lines have to actually be an X. And the ones that are across from each other, those are vertical. So that would be a no. Are angle two and five vertical? Yes, because I can literally take my pen and draw around those two lines and I can see they're across from each other. Grab the calculator. Okay, keep going. Do five and six. If angle six is 51, how much is angle seven? If angle six is 51, how much is angle seven? Three, what'd you get? 129, 10, carry 180, good. So that would be 129. If angle 8 is 103, how much is angle 6? Exactly, they're vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. Last time in the homework, we had to use linear pairs and work our way over towards it. Now we can just look at it and say, oh, they're right across from each other as a rule. Vertical angles are congruent. Okay, here we go. In the next part, it says that A and B are complementary. What does that mean? The sum of their measures, that means angle A plus angle B equals 90 degrees. The sum of their measures equal 90 degrees. So if angle A is 48, how much is angle B? 42. Because 48 plus 42 equals 90. Angle A, angle B. All right, the next piece of information says that angle B and angle C are supplementary. What does that mean? Angle B and angle C are supplementary. That means that angle B plus angle C, the sum of their measures, equals 180. So if I know that angle B equals, what did we say it was, 42, how much is angle C going to be? So 180 minus 42 is 138. Okay, try the next one using the same directions. This time they give you angle C, so you got to work from a different direction. They said angle C is 127. Which two angles am I using right now? How can I start with angle C, Brandon? So it sounds to me like you're using the supplement B and C go together. So when you did 180 minus 127, what'd you get? 53. What would be my next step, Annabelle? Using the directions. I have angle A, I have angle C, angle B. I need angle A. What goes with angle A? And how much do they equal? So angle A plus angle B is going to equal what according to the directions? Right, because it's a complement. Now I know angle B is 53. So what plus 53 is going to be 90? 90 minus 53 would be 37. Okay, where is your protractor and compass? You're going to need it. Draw each angle using a protractor. We're not doing all of them. We're just practicing our skills right now because we will be heading towards another test. All we have is area and perimeter left, and then it's test time. So the arrow on the bottom is telling me I need to draw an angle, and I need to be looking at this side. It needs to be opening from the left. So I look for zero, and then I find 45. 
Where's my zero number on the inside or outside? It's on the outside. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40. And so I mark off where 45 is. And then I sketch the angle, put it to the vertex. Next time I probably won't draw my line so long. Okay, 136. Draw an angle. This time it says it wants to open from the right. Is the zero number on the inside or outside? Great. For 136 degrees, is my zero number on the inside or outside? Very good. I need 136. So here's 10 all the way up to 90, 130. And I know these top numbers are also lined up. So I look for five and then one more for six. And then I go to my vertex, jar an angle. Okay, we're just reviewing. We're not doing all of them. Let's go to the next page. Adjacent angles. What does adjacent mean? What does adjacent mean? Next to. Each other. They are next to each other. How much is angle L, J, K? Yeah, trick question, right? Because <laughs> it says adjacent angles at the top, but L down to J down to K is outlining that angle only. 167 degrees, RSP number two, angle RSP is 65, number three, and so 174, four, I mean number four, who said that? C A D C A D. I agree. Okay, Annabelle, you're up. For anyone that you want, five or six. Angle five. How much is H E G? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven? Oh yeah, because ninety. I was thinking eighty for some reason. Ready? Fifty-seven. Moving on. What do we got here? Okay, this is a little bit different. It's angles around a point. Angles around a point. Let's look at number one together so we can try to figure out what's going on. They want to know what X is. I have all these angles around a point. How the heck am I going to find out what X is? Give me an idea of how to get started. What do I know? Going all the way around a point here. Exactly, right? A circle, you go around in a circle and it's 360 degrees, right? A line would be half of that for 180. So I just need to figure out what X is. If going all the way around is 360, I need just X. Try it. Try your ID. You got a calculator. Give me a thumbs up if you have an answer for number one. Okay, Brandon, what is it? I agree. 360 minus all of that would be 85. So it's a circle, right? 85. And so what did I do on my calculator? I just did 360 minus the first angle, minus the second angle, minus the third angle. So 360 minus all of the angles leaves the one angle that's going to be 85. Three, try two. Looking for X on this one. I agree, 125. Annabelle, you're next. Number three when you're ready. And Thomas, you're number four when you're ready. Let's see, 360 minus 177 minus 89 minus 79, and I agree that's 15. Minus 85 minus 88. Would you say it was? Um, try that again. Or maybe I need to. Let me say, try that again. Look to see what you punched in on the screen. Are you doing 360 minus all the angles? Okay. There we go. 
we go, 34. Okay, that's it for that. That's it for the review.